can I get a job working with SAP integration suite, SAP cloud integration or CPI? The answer is yes. Um, even though you don't have any skills and knowledge in it, there's always a lot of options. Um, so there's a number of different steps you need to go through to get these things. So obviously it helps if you have a master's degree or bachelor degree in some computer related topic. If you are a developer, know how to develop Java or for instance, Groovy is really useful skills. It's not required, um, but simplifies the, the, the journey. Uh, but at least have some programming experience if you're starting out from scratch with no knowledge and want to break into the SAP world. The first thing you want to learn is you want to learn the tool. And there's a number of, of good courses. I would recommend my own free course. You can get it at CPI course. Or there's a, a YouTube playlist. You can find it. The other thing is SAP's. Uh, open SAP course. There's also a good one there. Simplify integration with inter with SAP Cloud Platform Integration Suite. Um, that is also a recommend recommended one that I would yeah <laughs> recommend. Um, but that would mean that you learn the tool. It does not mean you have any skills or anything in the tool. Um, it would be really nice if you got a certification from SAP that says, we trust that you work well with the tool and have, have gone through a lot of these things. Uh, it can be a bit of a challenge to get a certification um, because it's mostly geared towards organizations and companies where you can get these informations. So how do you prove to a potential employee that you actually know what you're doing. So first off, you need to learn the tool. Then you need to create some experiments where you try to use the tool. And with cloud integration or CPI, there's a free trial of it that would allow you to experiment with it and show what you can actually do. So normally I recommend uh, people to go through these uh, courses learn what they can from it, and then create their own experiment. It could be an experiment where you try to connect your uh, car API with your calendar or something else that, and it could be either personal things or personal applications, which is probably easiest to get by and understand how they work, but do that they do have an API or uh, more enterprise related applications where you can find a, a public API or a free trial where you can leverage the system. So for instance, ServiceNow, you can use api.sap.com, which also is exposing a number of demo APIs and use that as a way to, to gain knowledge about how you can connect and use the system. So that would be my normal approach. And then once you have learned those things, create a blog post about you, what you have done, why you have done certain things. Um, that way in your CV, you can say, okay, I've created this blog uh, for it. And there's a number of different places where you can pu put these blogs, either on your private blog, uh, blogs.sap.com is probably the preferred one. Um, and has the most credibility. You could put it in LinkedIn or uh, Medium or wherever you like to have these uh, these kind of content. But it there's a lot of different places and it, it makes sense that you go through and evaluate where you can put these things. But I think the most important thing is that you just write what you've done, show some of your code. Maybe you'll get some feedback. Maybe you'll get a job offer, but obviously no one can guarantee anything. It all depends on you, your personality and all these 150 other character traits that recruiters are, are looking for. But at least showing what you can do is a much better place to start from than just say I've been through a course on this platform. I hope this is uh, useful. Uh, you can find more. Please subscribe. Please like this video and uh, show your blogs that you have created on this. Thank you.